Hi, I'm Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is my fantasy TBR. So I did one of these a couple of years ago. This is definitely fantasy season in my mind. I am primarily a romance reader, so most of these have at least a thread of romance in them. Um, but because I was a fantasy reader and then became a romance reader, I have books on my fantasy TBR that I just don't get to very quickly because I don't read as much fancy as I do romance. So it's fun to kind of do this video and get a chance to talk about things that are on my radar, but I just don't get to talk about as frequently as uh, other ones. So my Goodreads is glitching out. It like won't show the all of my one to read. Is this happening to anyone else? There's like a book that I know is on there and it like won't show it. But then when I search it, it says I have it as marked as one to read. It's annoying. Anyways, moving right along. Okay, so the first one that we're going to talk about is Spirit the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. And this is a princess, prisoner, runaway queen. It's like a group multi-POV heist type thing, I think, with dragons. I specifically got this from Jan. She loved it and honestly just really talked me into it. <laughs> so they're trying to break into a castle. And this is on Kindle Unlimited, and I do actually plan on reading it this month. We'll see if that happens or not. The next one is Thrown in the Dark, which is Villains and Virtues by A.K. Caggiano. And this one, he is the prophesied realm destroyer, and she accidentally gets chained to him magically, and they get dragged all over the country. She's sunshine. He's evil. I'll either love it or I'll DNF it so fast. <laughs> Next is A Kiss of Iron by Claire Sager. This one is a cutthroat game of court life, which I love court intrigue. I do. I do. So, you know, she's poor. She's going to spy on someone. The powerful fey lord known as the Night Queen's Shadow. You've already got me with the, with the <laughs> name. He's handsome, ruthless, and cunning. She can't decide if he's a threat to the kingdom or just her heart. Okay, I hate I hate those lines. I do. Next is Wicked Enemy, which is Ruthless Enemy number two by Marianne Blackwood. This is the not great um, kind of enemies to lovers, dark, steamy, kinky fantasy romance that I have been making my way through her series. <laughs> uh, next is A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. I eventually got talked into this. I've known about it for years and years and years and years. Do I know what it's about? No, I don't remember. She steals jewels from a crime boss and then gets transported into a magical world. And she wakes up in the body of a elven princess. And of course she's, you know, been evil and he hates her and now they're like destined to marry or something like that. All right, next we have A Vermilion Curse by DC Guevara. This is also a fantasy romance. They are investigating an abandoned temple. They run into each other. She has a bounty and she's into the occult. <laughs> There's demons. I don't know. It looks good. Then I have Scorpica, which is by G.R. McAllister. I have this on my TBR because of Ray at Bookmark Chronicles. This is matriarchal and they haven't had girls born and the queendoms are in disarray and all this stuff. It's queer. It's high fantasy. I honestly do not know if it is the type of fantasy for me or not, but um, Ray loved it and she talked me into it. So we'll see. <laughs> then I have What the River Knows by Isabel and Banyas. This just came out. This is mystery on the Nile, mummy, you know, that type of historical Egyptian. Does this even count as fantasy? I mean, there's magic. I really want to read that so badly. So badly. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> then I have The Umbra King by Jamie Applegate Hunter. The morally gray don't want re redemption. So her twin was murdered and she's a vigilante killer and then she gets sentenced to the prison realm and he's the king there. She drops into his throne room. I love, I love a good 
I love that scene. I love that scene. I've read it a few different times and I love it. Then I have Hearthstone by L. Catherine White. This is a Pride and Prejudice retelling with dragons and there's a lot of different dragon rider plot points so it's not just word for word Pride and Prejudice. I recently saw Riley Marie read this. It had been on my radar for years but she just loved it so much and she kind of talked me back into it. Then I have Thief Liar Lady by D.L. Sariha. Happily Ever After is a total scam. So the princess is the one doing the grift. Like she's already the princess, but she's not actually a princess. Um, there's a stepsister, the prince is gonna ruin everything, yada, yada, yada. I don't know why it's on my TBR, but it's there. <laughs> then I have Savage City by L. Penelope. Um, Vina, I Miss WOC Reader put this on my radar and it was free and I got it. So she looks like the missing princess, but she's not actually the missing princess and they are dragon shifters. And then there's a fey warrior in captivity and they're going to have a romance, but obviously he kind of wants to kill the actual princess and things like that because they're at war. Then I have Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. It's back again. <laughs> I've put this on and off my TBR so much. It's not even funny. I never feel compelled to pick it up, but when people talk about it, it sounds really good. It's like a historical fantasy romance. Mara books like Whoa, I think particularly kind of talked me into it. Then I have The Scandalous Confessions of Lydia Bennett, Witch by Melinda Taub. Wickham is a demon. Lydia's a witch. Pride and Prejudice retelling. Then I have Reawakened by Colleen Huck. This is a young adult Egyptian fantasy. And I was an Egyptian kid and I would just like, I would just like to have a good time with some Egyptian inspired fantasy. I have Sinner's Isle by Angela Montoya. This also just, just came out. This is Pirates. He's the high seas prince of pirates. Chanted chain meant to lead him to his heart's desire. Steady falls into her hands. <laughs> Then I have Lady of Roses and Ruin by Courtney Shack. I know that this is a fancy romance on Kindle Unlimited. One of them has to die in order to save the people they love. It's an arranged marriage, Beauty and the Beast. We'll see if I ever get to it. Then I have Lady of Istok, which is The Queen's Red Guard number two by Isabel Almo. I read the first book in the spring and really liked it, but the third book won't be coming out until next year. So I'm not like in a rush to read this one, especially because they are a little bit darker. You should expect people to die. But this one is about the queen in the first book. This is about her cousin and pirates and things like that. And I want to say I got the impression that we have the point of view of the first couple as well as this couple. So... I would definitely read the first book first, but I have the second one on my TBR. The Sun, the Storm, and the Shadows by Michaela D. Horneda. Mayan-inspired fantasy romance? That's that's why it's on my TBR. <laughs> I have The Phoenix King by Aparna Verma. This is Indian-inspired fantasy romance or just fancy, mm, fancy romance. This I've heard is similar to The Jessed Air, but maybe done a little bit better. I actually have it on my TBR for this month also because I do have it coming from the library. She's the heir to the throne. And then the notorious assassin shows up and he's gonna be a member of her royal guard. I'm sorry, I'm a sucker for royalty and assassins. I really, really am. Mention that and I'm interested. To Poison a King by S.G. Prince. It's a standalone, love standalone fantasies. We love them. She is the youngest daughter of gifted healers and her mother tricks her into trying to poison the king. And it doesn't work. The king doesn't die. He is paralyzed and uh pretty pretty angry <laughs> and also she gets like forced into trying to heal him and she's obviously quite worried that he's going to figure out that she's the one that tried to kill him <laughs> you can see why that might intrigue me this vicious grace by emily feed three weddings three funerals uh, she's supposed to magnify a partner's magic not kill every soother she touches and then she gets the bodyguard 
and there's rebellion and betrayal. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I can't remember who or why this is on my list. If we're going to be honest with each other. I don't know. But it is there. The Surviving Sky by Kritika H. Rao. That is, I guarantee you, I'm not pronouncing that correctly. This is a Hindu inspired science fantasy. So it's a mashup of science fiction and fantasy. It's the Marriage and Trouble one where they um, kind of have to save the world together. I'm really hoping that um, I love the romance in this. I should be able to get it from the library pretty soon actually, but I need to like, I can't read a ton of fantasy all at once, so I really have to pace myself with them, which is why I'm doing this video, because sometimes I get, like, really sad, because I'm like, I want to get to all of you. Then I have The Midsummer Bride by Katie Wilde, one of my favorite fantasy romance authors. I did try to read this on release day, and there were some issues. This one, she is dying, and he, first he wants to kill her, and then, you know, he wants to save her. He's the rightful queen that's been ousted by her evil uncle. Then I have Barney and Roses by T. Kingfisher, another of my favorite fantasy romance authors. This one I think does lean heavier into the romance than some of her other books. This is the Beauty and the Beast retelling. Also a possibility for my November TBR. Uh, T. Kingfisher is funny. Her characters are great. I cannot begin to tell you how much you should pick up her fantasy romance if you like that genre. Then lastly, maybe, I have Ruin and Roses by Deanna Ortega. This I think is the only one that's still on my TBR from the last time I made this video. I did do this in a try a chapter challenge and kept it on my TBR but didn't read it. I must read it by the end of the year. So if not before then you should actually get this in a vlog in December reading my oldest TBR books so I'm not taking um books from 2022 into 2024. This one I think that there is it has quite a few content warnings. What is this one about? I definitely don't remember. Stealing from her soon-to-be fiance and then the mission's gonna cost her life. Her fiance is lurking over her that's his newest possession. She also has an ex-lover, an unwanted keeper that is part of her mission. So it is a love triangle. And I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna play out, but... Oh, I didn't have on my Goodreads for some reason, but also that time I got drunk and saved a human, which is Mean Mishaps number three by Kimberly Lemming. I've read and loved each of these books as they've come out. It's diverse, funny, short fantasy romance that doesn't take itself too seriously. This one is a dragon and a human. These were available on Kindle Unlimited and then a publisher picked her up and we were told they'd be on Kindle Unlimited and they're not and they're like $10 an ebook. But whatever, I finally actually have it from the library so I'll be reading it maybe even by the time you see this video but it is on my TBR. All of her books always are on my TBR. I've read all every book she's ever come out with. That's it. Those are my fantasy books on my TBR right now. Let me know which ones I should prioritize more than others. If you've read and loved any of them, I would really like to hear it because honestly, I need help with these. I need reasons to go ahead and pick one up. Okay. And also, if you know, now you want to read any of these, let me know. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.